think the final guiding principle in surviving a crisis or mitigating it is everything you say can and will be used against you. So, Jay. You remember, yeah, so, Jay. The, 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 the British Petroleum Deepwater Horizon oil spill. Uh, in, after a few days, their CEO said, I want to get my life back. Exactly. And those words lived on and, and nailed him. He was let go as a CEO because he was so callous. People had died because of the disaster. People were put out of business during the disaster. And this fat cat CEO is complaining that he wants to get his life back to normal. So, Jason, uh, you were pretty successful in some of the crises that you faced. You were with Nissan, Ford, and Chrysler within the automotive industry. So, can you recall, can you uh, share with us a little bit of uh, some of the problems that you confronted and how do you solve them? Well, um, the first major one uh, was a transmission of Chrysler. It would have bankrupted the company had it been recalled instead of fixing it one by one. And there again, it was put the customer safety first, and, and we did that. Uh, number The second biggest crisis I was in was the second sudden acceleration crisis. Of course, the first one was the Audi 5000, which almost put Audi out of business, by the way. And the second one was with the Jeep Grand Cherokee, and I was in charge of the communications for that. And once again, we had to prove, first of all, what was happening. And the, what was happening it was hard to say because we were blaming our customers because they were putting their foot on the wrong pedal. Usually a, a valet or a car wash jockey or someone not familiar with the vehicle. But what we did in the end, we found that we could keep them from making that mistake by putting shift, brake shift interlock. And a couple of us demanded the company retrofit those vehicles, even if it was at great expense and even though the trial attorneys would say, oh, the vehicle's defective. It wasn't defective. The fact is this newer technology added on to the older vehicles could keep customers from making a mistake. And that's how we survive.